So maybe you just bought a GoPro Hero 5 or 6, did some filming, and when you went to edit it, you discovered that the audio just sucks. This is the uh, GoPro just on a stick, but with no external mic. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys an ultralight but semi-permanent way to create a GoPro rig that improves the audio vastly without adding a bunch of weight and mass to the camera. So this is a test of the GoPro Hero 5 and 6 uh, rig, this time with the Ceremonic mic. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers and if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration around bike travel, bike touring, bike fishing, and how to film your adventures and you've come to the right place, be sure to subscribe. So the GoPro Hero 6 and 5 are simultaneously awesome and terrible cameras at the same time. They have great image quality, pretty good stabilization, but when it comes to audio, they really fall short. I actually made a separate video a couple months ago that's been pretty popular that shows you how to create a small uh, rig with the GoPro to improve its audio quality. I'm going to link to that video in the cards and description below. It's still an awesome mod. I stand behind it and it's a great system for those that want a less permanent uh, way to rig up audio on their GoPro. So this video is kind of a updated version of that previous video and the reason I'm creating this one is because I wanted a way to run audio on the GoPro but wanted to cut down the weight as much as possible. Don't get me wrong, the aluminum enclosure works great but I found when biking and especially with uh, running the GoPro on a chesty just added that extra weight that was kind of fatiguing and I didn't really trust uh, the GoPro clips when I was bouncing around with the camera and the enclosure and the mic. So this is my attempt to create the smallest and most lightweight way to improve the audio on the GoPro Hero 5 and 6. So let's jump right in. You're going to need a couple things. Of course, you're going to need a GoPro 5 or 6. In this video, I'm using the 5, but it's the same exact form factor and essentially the same camera as the GoPro Hero 6, at least in the audio department. For this rig, I'm going to use the stock cage. You'll also need the overpriced mic adapter. There's just simply no way to get around that. You'll also need this Ceremonic mic that I'm going to link to below. Uh, be sure to get this one specifically. There are two versions that look very similar, but one is designed for your phone and one uh, is designed to work with general kind of audio inputs. And if you get the wrong one, it won't work. Again, you'll also want a five pack of these windscreens. This definitely helps cut down the uh, wind noise when you're outside and it's windy or if you're outside and you're on a bike. And the piece de resistance for this uh, mod is Sugru. If you're not familiar with Sugru, it's a silicone based uh, putty. It comes in little packages and when you open it up, you can kind of mold it to shape. And it's great at sticking two objects together and if you let it cure overnight, it becomes kind of a hard rubber material. So because of the Sugru, this rig is kind of uh, semi-permanent, but you can remove it if you you need to. I found that just taking a sharp knife you can kind of cut the Sugru off and peel it away. So if you built up my previous rig you'll want to cut the zip ties and free the audio adapter away. The next step is to take the uh, skeleton frame and the audio adapter and kind of line it up so you know exactly where you want to put it before you apply the Sugru. Then you want to open up the Sugru and kind of roll it into a ball. I found for this hack you'll need at least two packs of Sugru so you can create an offset so you can stick your finger and actually hit the record button. I had to film this video twice because the first time I did it I didn't account uh, for that necessary space so I had to cut the Sugru off and apply more Sugru. So definitely be sure to build in that buffer so you can stick your finger in there. So the way you want to apply the Sugru is to kind of ball it up and put it on one surface and uh, create a bit of a point so when you compress it to the other surface it'll flatten out. A couple of tips when you're applying the Sugru is you definitely want to make sure that it's not touching parts of the case you don't want it to touch. You don't want the latch to bond to itself. So be sure to keep those areas nice and tidy. You have about 30 minutes to mold the Sugru before it becomes really tough to work with. So a fair amount of time, but you do want to kind of be purposeful in your actions. So basically you want to snug it up as much as you can while leaving room to stick your finger to hit the record button. You can go around the edges and smooth it and kind of clean up uh, where the two parts meet. So after waiting for 24 hours, you want to cut the zip tie and there you have it. You have a lightweight but semi-permanent audio rig for your GoPro Hero 5 or 6. So although it looks like clay or silly putty, uh, the material is a lot more robust. It doesn't seem like it's going to break off and it looks like it's going to hold it pretty well. And if it does, there is an extra package of Sugru so you can always uh, reattach it if things go sideways. I'm going to jump to some audio samples in a second, but before I do that, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, the settings I use on the GoPro and also some expectations with the mic. In the general preference settings, I 
typically just leave it at standard, not standard plus or line in or anything like that, just standard. In the ProTune audio settings, I leave the audio processing setting to low. I want whatever audio changes uh, applied to sound to be applied by me and not by the camera itself. So let's talk about the Ceramonic mic really quickly. There's been a ton of comments on my previous video, so I want to address those. First thing to know about this mic is that it's a cheap mic. So it's not going to sound like a fancy shotgun mic or cardioid mic or condenser mic. Its main purpose is to give you more focused and directional audio than what the stock mics on the GoPro will give you. For my purposes, I think it does that pretty well. It works well as a vlogging camera, but if you're expecting deep booming bass and really crystal clear uh, highs, then the mic's just not going to do it. But for walking around and vlogging, and especially if you're holding the camera within about three feet of you, then the mic's gonna work great. So another thing about the mic and the wind muffs I suggest, they do work well, but within reason. If you're walking around and it's kind of breezy, it'll definitely help buffer that kind of sound. But if you're on a motorcycle and you're moving 40 miles per hour, it's not gonna work. It's, that's just not what it's designed for. So those are kind of the two big points I wanted to address. I don't want anyone to feel like I'm misleading them into thinking that this is the most amazing mic ever because it's not. But it is exponentially better than what you get in the stock GoPro Hero 5 or 6. So with all that said, I'm gonna to cut to some audio samples now. Test number one, this is the GoPro just on a stick, but with no external mic. This is without the Ceramonic mic. I'm getting a slight breeze, pedaling at probably eight miles an hour. So typically how I would use it doing a piece to camera on a bike. Okay, so this is a test of the GoPro Hero 5 and 6 uh, rig, this time with the Ceramonic mic. Hopefully it should sound better, even though there is a wind but uh, I imagine that it should sound better than the previous clip where there was no external mic. All right, so uh, I'm gonna take my helmet off. So I'm gonna do a quick walking test. And this is walking and talking with just the uh, Naked GoPro without the audio modification. Again, I'm just holding it on a stick about arm's length. I'm gonna turn, maybe we'll, it'll catch some wind. You can hear how the bare audio sounds like on the GoPro. So testing one, two, three, this is just walking with the GoPro trying to vlog. So this is uh, the same walking test holding the GoPro on a stick at about arm's length away. But this time with the Ceramonic mic, the GoPro adapter, the Sugru, all the good stuff we did in the video. So I'm just going to walk and talk, give you guys a sense of uh, what it's going to sound like, the pickup pattern. I'm going to rotate and maybe it'll catch some wind. There's definitely a headwind coming towards me this way. We'll see how that buffers the wind in the editor. So testing, walking and talking with the Ceramonic mic. So as you can hear, or hopefully you can hear, that uh, with the addition of this system, you do get much better audio than you would with a stock GoPro Hero 5 or 6. And you still maintain that small form factor without a rig that is overly heavy and uh, incongruent with kind of the, the form factor of the GoPro. So just to reiterate, I have links to all these products in the description below. Be sure to get the right mic uh, if you do go with this rig. And if you guys have any questions or want uh, to, to hear or see specific uh, examples of this mic in use, then leave those in the comments below. But also be sure to check out uh, my recent vlog videos on the channel because I do use this rig and it'll give you a sense of how it works in real life situations. So I hope you guys found this uh, video helpful and I answered a bunch of your questions, uh, especially from my previous video. If you like the video, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.